County. The Best of Beaver County is sponsored by and content is provided by St. Barnabas. The show airs every Thursday from 11 to 11.30 on WBBP, WMBA, 99.3 FM, and Facebook Live. Now, with no further ado, let's welcome host Mike Romai to introduce today's program. Good morning and welcome to the Best of Beaver County Radio Show on the St. Barnabas Radio Network. I'm your host, Mike Romai, and each week we shine the spotlight on interesting pl people, places, and events going on in our area. And today we're going to talk once again about one of the biggest events in Beaver County. Went away for a little while, but it's been back uh, for a couple years now and bigger and better than ever. In fact, the name has changed a little bit from the Beaver County Maple Syrup Festival to the the Maple Syrup and Music Festival uh, starting on April 20th. Georgia Miller is with us. Georgia has been a long time uh, volunteer uh, proponent of the um, Maple Syrup Festival. And uh, and you're from Beaver Falls originally? Yes, oh, I am. Good. We were talking off the air about uh, yes. some of the people and places that we knew over all those years. Yes. Very good. And uh, your, your family has had uh, numerous businesses yes. uh, in Beaver Falls over yes, the years. They have. Yeah. And, uh, and it, things have changed. We were talking about the things changing all the time, some for the yeah. better, some, yeah. Uh, yeah. You just have to live with the go with the flow. But the maple syrup now and music festival uh, has grown from what it used to be. Yes. And it seems like people are embracing it. Tell us a little bit about your involvement and uh, and we'll talk about what's coming up this year. Well, I uh, went with push when they took over the festival. Uh, granted, we had a three year hiatus due to COVID. But last year, I they had asked me to help do the crafters because they've never done an event this big. So I do a lot of the, I do all the crafters, um, get them in, get them their sites, make sure we don't have too many, uh, deal with all the people that want to come in and unfortunately have to turn some away, but sure. it keeps getting better and better and we're looking forward to another good year. You said you told me you started in 1991 I with the Maple First Festival. I started as a volunteer. Um, I started in the milling building where they grind the grains, right. and that's how I met my husband because it was my future mother-in-law that asked me to volunteer ah, okay. because she ran that building. She had been doing it since '87. Yeah. So. Um, and then I took so your mother-in-law played played matchmaker more or less. Huh? Uh, yeah, she did. Okay. Yes, she yeah, did. Right. And she worked in Beaver Falls. Yeah. So Where did she work? She worked at Nancy's Flowers. Oh. Yes. Well, Middleman's mother. Yes, Marsha yes. Middleman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We talked about her a couple of weeks ago with Bob. Yeah. Uh, she and Buddy also like your family. Yes. Uh, big supporters of the Main Street and business owners on the Main Street. Yep. Yeah. True. Wonderful. But yep, uh, it's crazy how it works. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, but but why? Why do you get involved? I mean, you're talking about what forty years now. Uh, you're involved with it. I've got over thirty. Yeah, I've got over thirty. Uh, it started in seventy seven, seventy six, something mm -hmm. in there. Um, I came in, like I said, in ninety one. But I've got thirty years, and it's. It's an excellent way to showcase what Beaver County can offer mm -hmm. uh, between the pancake breakfast, the crafters, the entertainment, and the park itself, which is a beautiful park. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, they're going to do a 5K run, or a 25K run, sorry, um, on the 13th. It's called Tapping for Sap. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to get one of those t-shirts, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if anybody that runs is interested, res uh, you can't run in it because re registration is closed. Field is but you can go down, check it out, and see when their next runs are going to be, yeah. um, which we thought was kind of interesting that, you know, it's 
the week before. Right. So. And, and the, the folks, Tony Calturi and his staff at the uh, Tourism and Recreation Department, have done a remarkable job bringing yes. new events and highlighting, yes. showcasing those parks. Yes, they do. Yeah. And yes. uh, as far as the Maple Syrup Festival is concerned, it has changed over the years, but I think for the better. It keeps drawing in thousands of people oh, when it comes, but now with the bus transportation from various yes. locations, yes. Uh, stopping traffic jams and things like that, just making it a smooth run. Yeah, uh, they do, and they've got one, two, three different, four different sites, the park vehicles. We did change the handicap parking spot this year, it used to be um, where the boathouse uh, at the lake was across the street from that. They have moved it to the end of the park down by the Four Seasons Lodge in that parking lot because it's easier access yeah. for the handicapped. I understood that it was uh, because it was gravel yes. that it was a little more difficult for the yes. handicapped to yes. be getting there. This is easier for people that use scooters walkers wheelchairs mm -hmm. yes. uh, you probably remember as i do being young and going out to brady's run and the and the lake was open used to draw in um you know hundreds of people thousands of people a year yep. and across the road and then uh, i understand uh that uh, there's another staging area as far as the uh, parking is concerned at the end of the uh at the end of the park when you're coming down off of dutch ridge Yes. Into the park. Yes. It's down by the uh, dog park. Mm -hmm. That is, they use that area now also because we have had so many more people trying to come and parking can become an issue. So, for yeah. someone like yourself, Georgia, who's done it for so many years, and then a uh, new uh, operation comes in, a uh, push Beaver County, who've done a remarkable job with Beaver County Boom. Yes. Uh, and, and so many other things they get involved with. Is there anything that th they leaned on you for your expertise, your experience in doing it? Well, if they weren't sure of how things were handled in the past, they would ask me. And the only part that I really had not a whole lot of knowledge with was a lot of the things that went on in the lodge because all of mine was more the outside, the crafters, the vendors, and that. Um, and if they weren't sure, you know, they would ask mm -hmm. me, and we would hash things out and move forward from there. Yeah. Uh, do you like that aspect of it? I mean, you don't, you're not in there making the pancakes and oh, no. flipping the sausage. No, no. Uh, but you're out uh, and about uh, throughout the whole area, yes. and you more or less are the person who coordinates all the activities going on out there i do i don't do the entertainment mm -hmm. but i do do all the crafters um to make sure i like to check because we try and keep this strictly handmade craft items we do not let in buy sell mm -hmm. um, you cannot pull it out of a box that said made in china and if we see that you will have it pulled and you will evict them from the and premises. You get, yeah, and you may not <laughs> be back the following year. Uh -huh. And we have a lot of interesting items this year. Um, we have some freeze-dried candy. Oh, Have you tasted this? Do you have to taste test I these things? I didn't get to taste it. Okay. I'm going to try. I didn't get out last year as much as I wanted to because we had so much going on. Yeah. Um, this year, I hope to get out more. Uh, but we have what they call slump bottles where slump bottles. Yeah, they heat the bottle at an extremely high temperature and it literally slumps in on itself and becomes like a, a tray or a dish. OK, um, which I want to check those out. And then, and then when it comes out like that, does it still say like Jim Beam? I believe so, yeah. but I'm not sure. OK, uh, I don't know if they peel the labels or if they can yeah. leave them on. It would be kind of cool to have the label still on it. That way you could see what it was. See so. what it was originally. Yeah. But we have a scroll saw. Uh, we have a wood carver up in the demonstration uh, area. We have knit, knit and crocheted items. Yeah. Our souvenir booth this year, we've added some new items. Is that um, a new this is no hoodie. No, we had the adult hoodies last year. We added children youth hoodies sure. this year in the same colors. Uh, there's an olive green, uh, a bright green, a barn red, this gold, yellow, um, a blue. I think there's a pink and a gray. Mm. Okay. And we also added uh, stadium blankets this oh, year okay. in two colors. 
and a golf pullover jacket. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, we have some uh, new items this year. So. Comfortable, rain-resistant uh, golf pullover? I think it yeah. is, and it's got the kangaroo pocket yeah. plus a zippered pocket. Okay. So... Very good. They looked rather nice. I'm, I'm sure they would. Yeah. And a lot of the golfers in Beaver County probably look forward to that. Yeah, that'll be a nice item for them. And the whole idea, we, whether you're talking about hoodies or the slipovers or the stadium blankets, sometimes it tends to get a little cool, even Ooh, in yes. mid-April. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're hoping it's going to be warmer, but you never know. You can't predict. I think Mother Nature knows when the festival's coming in purposely mm. laughs at us so well you've got to think last weekend and this weekend with all the rain you're lucky you're not dealing with that i know true so yeah so yep. uh, do people come to you on an annual basis and say hey we'd like to be involved or do you seek them out they advertise like through the schools for the volunteers mm -hmm. um crafters a lot of them it's word of mouth because the crafters that are at the show, when they're doing other shows, they'll, they have friends there and they'll say, do you know of any show? And the, they'll uh -huh. say, you want to do the Maple oh, yeah. Syrup Festival. So it's, yeah. I mean, we have people come from New York, West Virginia. Crafters are like a cult. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> yes. They go all over and they call other people and they just put it in oh, the yes. van and drive out. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. They're a good bunch and a crazy bunch. Yeah, Georgia Miller is our guest. She's the uh, vice president of vice chair, vice for, chair of for the festival. Festival, and yes. you you have a lot involved. You have a lot of responsibilities. People will park at the horse arena or at other locations. Then they'll get on buses. I think there are Fry transportation buses this year. If I'm DJ correct. Fry yeah. is do it, supplying. Yes, he stepped forward, which was awesome. Yeah. So and they take him to the bridge, right? Yes. They take him to the bridge dr right right before the spillway. The, right? uh, well, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's on area. the other side of the lodge. So, yeah. Yes. Right at the lodge. Yes. So you uh, disembark the buses, go across the bridge, and then what you see is George's creation. Yeah, because <laughs> a bunch of white tents. <laughs> yeah, and you have to make. Uh, and you know, I've done some of this work before for uh, different uh, organizations. And you put somebody's tent in a place that they don't want that tent. They're going to come and let you know about it. Well, and you know, it's it gets kind of difficult. And this year, for some reason, was really rough because tent sizes changed. People uh -huh. went from. 10 by 10s to 10 by 20s and I didn't want deep I want long and yeah you know I need electric and I can't be by this and I try not to put two of the same things close to each other and it gets kind of interesting that some does. days but do they know that ahead of time like right now they know they're going to be at spot 182 right that's your spot yes okay yes and yeah they get provided a map with their spot highlighted on that map, and then when they get to the grounds, there's a flag with that number for their site that mm -hmm. matches their map. Yeah, so, uh, so it can get uh, pretty interesting oh, it's for good. you. Oh yeah, <laughs> especially when everybody wants to set up and we've got 60 cars in there yeah. with, that only fit 30. Yeah. I guess I need to ask, uh, you've been doing it for so long, is that because nobody else wanted to take over this position? Well, no, it's... It, they liked the way I did it, yeah. so it worked, and I've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I've been doing it for years. Is there a method behind your madness there? No, there is never no. a method because it never works out the same. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, uh, you take care of everything once people step off of the bridge all around and even up on the second level. Yes, there's okay. crafters up there also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yes. that's where that uh, that mill was, right? That's where, and they'll be grinding grains again mm -hmm. this year. Corn, yeah. wheat, and buckwheat will be ground. We're going to have the maple cotton candy, maple popcorn, oh. regular popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk so. about uh, the different vendors that you have coming up. Uh, in just a minute, let me take okay. a commercial break, and then we'll continue. Sure. Georgia Miller is with us. Uh, she's with the Beaver uh, County Maple Syrup and Music Festival, beginning on April 20th and 21st here at Brady's Run Park. I'm Mike Romine. We'll continue on the Best of Beaver County. 
Falling in love is one thing. Having anxiety about falling is a whole different subject. If you or a family member are concerned about falling, and yes, either up or down the stairs, or maybe even out of bed, St. Barnabas has a special message and some ideas just for you. Years of experience in working with people who are prone to falls has given St. Barnabas special expertise in this area. Call them at 724-443-0700 and learn about ways that you can begin to feel more confident and safe, including suggestions that you can implement right now into your daily routine. Call St. Barnabas at 724-443-0700. For many years now, St. Barnabas has been helping people fall, in love that is, with their new better life, a longer life, a risk-free life. Call St. Barnabas now at 724-443-0700 or visit stbarnabashealthsystem.com and learn more about living longer and better. It's the best of Beaver County and we are talking about the Maple Syrup and Music Festival at Brady's Run Park beginning on April 20th. It's a Saturday. Last weekend was the first day of trout and now we're getting into uh, the Maple Syrup. It's kind of the kickoff of the events at Brady's Run. I know you said there were some runs going on over there. Uh, They play pickleball out there now. They uh, disc golf, uh, everything going on at Brady's Run Park. But with uh, the the Maple Syrup Festival is kind of like a showcase for people who come from not only Beaver County and Western Pennsylvania, but all over the place. And for some people, this is going to be uh, their first uh, initiation, basically, of Brady's Run. So I think, do you think, uh, and and being part of it all these years, that it is something that people say, I never knew this was here. A lot of people say that. Yeah. They, they, They have no clue that this goes on and that it had been going on for this many years mm-hmm. and it's kind of nice to see i mean we've had people from england yeah you know mm-hmm. all over not just the united states but the world that have come to this and sure people come and eat pancakes oh, and yeah. sausage uh, yep. that sort of thing but also they could do that be in and out in 20 minutes yep. uh, but they want to come and they want to walk around the grounds yes and now you have the crafters that are selling their items that are handmade and this year we we actually have two book authors that are local oh, book authors. Yeah. Uh, the one gentleman does children's books, so he's going to be down by the kids zone, which um, this year there there's going to be a bounce house and a ski ball, oh. and a kids make it and take it that neighborhood North will be doing, and. Um, also, we will have a Boy Scout museum down there that they can look oh. into also. Um, and the other book author is a woman that does historical romance novels. Mm, okay. So She I, won't be in the children's area, though, will no, she? No, <laughs> she won't be in the children's area. <laughs> She'll be in another area. She well, will be an adult. <laughs> Harlequin romance novels yes, out there. They look interesting. Yeah. I read the little blurb so okay very good so you you break it up into different areas you have the children's area we try and keep all the children's events in that one area now we're hoping we're not sure if it's going to work out that we're going to have a petting zoo and pony rides Um, the petting zoo i'm pretty sure is confirmed the pony rides i'm still waiting to hear back on a confirmation mm-hmm. so we're hoping to have those we will keep those a little separate off the grounds on the other side so mm-hmm. that there's no you know issues sure. yeah. with the animals uh, yeah. getting that's afraid that's nice yeah uh, and you don't want them especially if you're having pony rides out there yeah. things like that they yeah. could be messy from yeah, time a little to bit. time yeah, yeah. <laughs> even with the petting zoo cuz he yeah. said he was going to have goats pigs sheep a llama oh, so okay. yeah 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 very so nice. it'll be an interesting yeah menagerie. so do people after it's all over what do they write uh when it was the conservation district or do they write when it's uh uh now push beaver county to say oh you should do this next year because everybody has suggestions you, they i believe they did get suggestions mm-hmm. so and i'm pretty sure that you know if it's a good suggestion mm-hmm. and and Sometimes you get some that aren't as good and yeah. just they're not feasible, unfortunately. Right. So, but they try and accommodate everybody mm-hmm. and you 
Yeah. It's hard. Well, it's interesting you said earlier in the program, and uh, if you go to any festivals around the area at any time, sometimes you get the same crafters there, the same people. And you oh, were yes. saying about uh, we don't want anybody bringing in box goods from China or any place no. else. No. Uh, and, and sometimes you get that. Yes. You know, cheap little uh, trinkets that you're going to yes. pay a dollar or two for. But you want this to be handmade, homemade stuff. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everything we we prefer you make it. Now, we don't ask that you make your wreath if you're decorating it with flowers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, floral designs. Um, some things are pre-made, but that is, it's used in conjunction with their finished product. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. You know. Do you, um, as far as the crafters are concerned, will you be able to get stuff made on site? There will be some that will mm -hmm. be demonstrating their items. Um, some of the jewelry makers will make things on site. Um, some of the other people will be doing scroll saw work. Yeah, nice. there will be different people demonstrating. Wood carving type stuff. Yes. It seems to me that there were uh, walking sticks that they made one time down uh, there. North Country Trails will yeah. be there for okay. the kids to make walking sticks or adults if they want right. to make. Yes, they, they will They make be you there. work for it, though. They make you work for it. <laughs> yes, they can't do. walk over and say, can I have one? No, you got to sit no, down. No, you're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how yep. many crafters this year? Do you know? Uh, almost 90 this wow. year. Wow. Uh, you're yep. packing a lot into that area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, hoping it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, they also have bands, and they're going to use the same stage as yes, they've used there before. there will be bands both days. Um, and it's it's funny. I it's We went to a pirate game the home opening weekend, and I could hear this band that was in the stadium playing. Yeah. And when I get in there, it's one of the groups – that is going to be playing at the festival. Is that right? Yes. Oh, great. And I thought that was nice. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, you can promote them as as seen yes, at PNC as seen Park. Yes, at PNC Park. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very good. So, the, But that'll go on for two days. Both days, yes. Yeah, and yes. a wide variety of music, as I understand yes, it. Yes, there's a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Country, rock, and oldies. Yeah, I know they talked about moving it up to the second tier. But it's, it's, uh, it's logistically, gonna, it's it's hard to do. Well, yes, uh, because that way, then everything has to come up through the ground mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah, um, there's work that needs done up there. They're still looking at possibly moving mm -hmm. some of the items up there. So. Yeah, but it's difficult. It's a difficult yes. walk. The older you get, the more difficult that you walk is. You tell me about it. Yes, <laughs> you are right. Going up there, I know they've had the radio station up on the second level uh, yes. a couple of times. Yeah, and they're, they're going to be back from. up there in their yeah. spot again this mm -hmm. year. So yeah, we look forward to having them. Yeah, it's always something uh, fun. You yes. see so many different people there, not yes. only local politicians and celebrity types, but, but just people. Young and old, strollers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It could also be like kind of an old home week in a sense that you might run yes. into people who left the area a long time ago. And come back. Yeah. And there are people that do come back specifically to come mm -hmm. home that weekend for the festival. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They so, do. Yeah. Uh, arrange their uh, family reunions or class reunions. Yes. If people still have class reunions nowadays. Uh, yeah, I think I that some know. do. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have uh, a listing or some idea of all the different vendors that uh, are invited to be there this year? They will be distributing a leaf, a little small booklet this year that will have in the center um, a map of all the crafters. And then on the pages before and after, um, the numbers that correspond to the map with who it is and a brief note of what they're selling. Okay. Um, it also will thank the sponsors. And it's just a nice thing that that way, if you need to know, you know, afterwards, you can always get in touch with somebody to, you know, oh, I wanted to buy more of this. Yeah. But... I can't remember, so you can look, look on your up. map and good. Yeah, they'll be so handing those out. Find contact information from them there. Yes. Yeah, um, and, and you had mentioned uh, about sponsors. Very important part of yes. any event going yes. on. Yes. Do you know who any of those sponsors are? I know Push Beaver County is uh, the main. Uh, I don't problem. because I don't do those the sponsors. Mm -hmm. But um, again, I believe they're going to have the signs out 
uh, mm -hmm. down the lodge area sure. for the sponsors that have done it again this year and they to thank them for their work and I believe WBVP next week will be honoring oh, and naming okay, the announcing sponsors. Those, yeah. Yes. Very good. So all yes. over the place uh, yes. down there. Oh yeah, we definitely want to recognize them because without them a lot of this couldn't happen. Right. Very so. good. Is there a website does push Beaver County have a website that would tell us a little bit more information they about this? They have a website and I believe there is one that was created for specifically the festival, the okay. Beaver County Maple Syrup and Music Festival. Yeah. I think if you Google it, there is an exact website. Is there one that you've known of for the past 30 odd years that keeps coming back? Or do you have a favorite uh, that you're just so happy when they sign up to come back? Crafter? Yeah. I have several, oh, yes. Do you? Okay. Yes, I do. And one after COVID, the first year, Push did it, finally got to do it. They couldn't come back. Oh because they had a show the next week and and he his items are sometimes fairly big they're lawn items and he couldn't make enough for both he's coming back this year and i can't wait because mm. i haven't seen him in like yeah. five years oh, and his okay. wife you get to be friends I, I mean i've been dealing with some of these people for 10 12 years mm -hmm. that's how long they've been coming so it's nice to see that they're going to come back. He's. Uh, What's the most common? Uh, okay, Push Beaver County has a website. Okay, very good. Uh, Beaver County Maple Syrup and yes. Music Festival. What's the most common request you get? For. For crafters or just on, on site when you're there on site? Because not only have you put all the work in ahead of time uh, to organize all this, but you're going to be on site for two days. Yep. So. People, you're going to say, I'm Georgia. I'm wearing the gold hoodie. If you need something, look for me. No, I will be in my, my Barney purple outfit. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, years ago, I bought a, um, it's a take off a Carhartt, mm -hmm. the jacket and the bibbers. Okay. And they're like a lavender. Yeah. And I wear those so everybody can so find me. Knows what, yeah. What you... uh, mostly it's. Can I get meal tickets? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they want to come in and eat. Mm -hmm. They they have their own tent that they can go to to eat. Yeah. So they want that. And it's, do you have the pre-registration application for next year so okay. I can? Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, it's interesting, the meal tickets, because aside from, you said popcorn, soft pretzels. We have uh, popcorn. We have nachos and cheese. We have hot dogs. We have meatball sandwiches. Okay. We have cotton candy. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I was I was just wondering that because uh, the uh, the focal point is the maple syrup festival, the pancakes yes. and stuff like that. Yes. you wouldn't have food vendors on site or that many food vendors on site. We have food, but it's small items um, that you're not going to eat there. Mm -hmm. It's more to take home. Um, we have a woman that does mini loaves of a variety of different breads, Ooh. like pumpkin, mm -hmm. zucchini, apple, cranberry, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Um, the freeze-dried candy that we mentioned earlier, the uh, woman doing cupcakes and log rolls, uh, brownies, fudge. Okay. Yeah. So, but those, you know, are... Goodies to eat. Those are goodies, yeah. yes. Those are dessert for after your pancakes. All right. Or if you have kids, they're going to eat them kids, whenever yes. you have them. Okay. Yes. So um, April 20th. Yes. What time does it start in the morning? Do it starts know? at 8.30 okay. and goes to 4.30 both days. And they're lining up at sometimes as early as 7.30. Okay. And if you need to get tickets, you should go to that website uh, if you want to get meal tickets. Uh, they can't pre-buy. You can't pre-buy. Oh, you have buy. to buy them there. No, the only people that can pre-buy are our crafters so okay. that they can get in so that they can get back to their site. Yeah. They keep trying to figure out how to do that, but... It's yeah. not a, it's a toughie now that at the moment to try and figure out. Now that you say that, I can remember a trailer on site where yes. they sell the tickets. Yes, and that, that will be on site again uh, with our favorite two women working it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that have been doing it for quite a few years. See, it, it takes people like you and like you say, your favorite two women because you know how to organize it. You know how to keep people in line uh, because... Anyone who's ever worked in public service knows sometimes the public isn't the easiest to deal with. No, and you just have to smile. And <laughs> yeah. 
they're on. right. Yeah, the, they're right. All right. Well, we just hope that in the future days that uh, in events that you don't go to a, a cashless system where everybody comes in with debit cards. Oh, like PNC Park right, and, that, right. and the garages now, yeah. the parking garages. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You just had to deal with that recently going to the opener. Yes. Yeah. And that was a little different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But so. the Maple Syrup and Music Festival, Brady's Run Park, April 20th and 21st. It's 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 almost here. Yeah, I almost wished I had another week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we appreciate all you do, uh, and uh, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for having uh, me. Georgia Miller, uh, at, and she'll be dressed in purple, not like the purple dinosaur, but uh, dressed yeah. in purple if you're yep. looking for her. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Georgia. Thank it you. is uh, the Best of Beaver County Radio Show. We thank Georgia Miller for being with us. I'm Mike Romai. Thank you for watching and listening. And we'll do it again next week on the St. Barnabas Radio Network. Thank you for listening to the Best of Beaver County. St. Barnabas is pleased to have provided content and sponsorship for the program. Tune in this Sunday at 1130 for an encore presentation of today's program on Beaver County Radio. And next Thursday at 11 for another edition of the Best of Beaver County on WBVP, WMBA, and 99.3 FM.